So I started uh, at, uh, in Shropshire, uh, where I was brought up in uh, Shrewsbury. Uh, played a bit of um, club cricket, and then from there got selected to play some district stuff um, uh, and, and moved on into the Shropshire pathway. Shropshire have a real good link with Worcestershire and Warwickshire, so I did a bit of trialling at Warwickshire and a bit of stuff at Worcester, uh, Worcester. And the EPP at Shropshire sort of highlighted uh, Worcester, Worcester came and have a look at me and then I got picked on some stuff for them and played a lot of age group stuff and moved to Wor Worcester County age group at under 17s and have been there since really from after the academy and moved on yeah. Um, I think uh, well I always loved it and I dad was very good he taught me a lot of stuff about it and sort of spent hours and hours and hours batting and bowling batting and bowling um, and and that showed my love for it really and then when I got picked for the EPP, um, my confidence started to grow a little bit more in knowing my ability and being able to sort of be able to perform against players that I thought were a lot better or um, players that had quite big names at uh, sort of under 15, under 16 level. Um, but yeah, the EPP at Shropshire gave me a lot of confidence going forward and getting picked for Worcester from there was um, sort of the starting moment of, I. Uh, I could, could try and make it here and I, I, I always wanted it uh, to be a professional cricketer um, from a young age so that sort of highlighted it really. No I did, I, I, well, I never anything intellectual, um, always sport. Um, I played a lot of rugby, I loved rugby when I was younger and then that sort of, I think I was probably just a bit bigger than a couple of other kids so it highlighted that I, I probably wasn't quite good enough um, I just get and I got to a point where I kept getting smashed as everyone else was growing and they were probably a bit better than me so at a point I was like I kept coming home with sores and broken noses and stuff and mum was like probably not probably probably stop that and concentrate on your cricket so that's yeah and, and the Worcester Academy coach said get rid of it so stop rugby uh, and that was the only other thing really I would have wanted to do um, but I'm not sure I could have taken car crashes or um, for, nine, uh, for 80 minutes in a rugby game every weekend I'm not sure that was for me. I would say I spent a lot of time at school having to say no to, I spent, a, Worcester Academy was um, on a, each night of the week and a, and a big day on a Sunday, so you'd go all day Sunday, uh, which I sacrificed a lot of my time really. I, I spent all day at school and then I'd have to drive to Worcester from Regan College or Dad would have to drive. So I wouldn't get back till sort of half 11 on three nights a week and then I'd have to go all Sunday which meant probably no house parties and stuff like that. I spent a lot of time at school saying, no, 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 I can't, I can't do it. So I sacrificed, I think, a lot of free time at school. Yes, I had a, a brilliant time throughout school and got to do some stuff, but I think that was probably, looking back, was probably the hardest thing. I think I did say, although I loved cricket and I wanted to be a professional cricketer, heart, there was a few times where I turned around to Dad and said, I, I can't go to Worcester tonight, I'm goose, but he made me go and that was for the better, I suppose. So. Um, yeah, that was probably, I think, my biggest sacrifice um, was the time um, that I spent a lot of time in Worcester. I suppose growing throughout, you always go a little bit a step up at a time, don't you? So I went from um, EPP, I went from Shropshire Age Group to EPP, and that was a step up, and EPP to the academy, and, and so on. And each point you get, you, the players get far better. I think consistency of players gets a lot better, so the bowling is a lot quicker and it's a lot um, more challenging for a longer period of time. I think in the Birmingham League, as a bowler, you get let off by bowling bad balls and stuff like that. But as you step up, you start to realise that your margins for error get a lot smaller. So I think my step up from Shrewsbury was to the second team. I, I went from playing not many, not like 50 over cricket, to play my first game was a whole day of cricket. And I just remember it being a real struggle because I was bowling bad balls and each bad ball got hit for four and I probably wasn't that used to that. So it's just a step up of the standard of playing you suppose. But that's exactly the same from second team cricket to first team cricket is it's that next step of consistency and I spoke, speak to quite a lot of people when I, I not, might speak about it later but the hundred when it, consistency is just massive I think the, the people that are the best of their game just are consistent for long periods of time and I think that's the biggest change is just batters are better they hit the ball they hit bad balls and bowlers have to hit a, a penny all day or you go for plenty of runs. 
I hope so. Um, I hope so. I've got to keep getting better and keep working on different aspect, aspects of my game in terms of that, what I was talking about earlier, consistency, and hopefully that will just come. It's sort of trying to park it and, and, and hope that one day that will, that will happen if I keep improving and keep, keep, keep getting my skills better. Um, I think, well, I'd relate myself more to now would be Stuart Broad. I think my idol is sort of Freddie Flintoff and the way he played, but um, more so Stuart Broad. I think now the way he goes about his business, he's, he's an unbelievable athlete. He's still going at 30 whatever, so um, he's taken tons of test wickets and I hope to aspire to be like him really in terms of his career path. He's, he got picked for England a little bit younger, but um, hopefully I can sort of use, I think we're sort of similar bowlers in some ways. So hopefully I try and keep going with the skills that he, he used to get his wickets and hopefully I can follow on from that really. Yeah, amazing. It was, uh, it I wasn't expecting it, um, getting the sort of rookie thing. So it was an incredible experience, huge crowds, playing with some pretty cool players that I probably didn't think I was going to at the start of the season and playing against some pretty cool players as well for, for me and being able to learn off sort of Adam Milne and um, Kane Williamson and stuff was just an incredible experience to be able to speak to them in, in normal ways really as a player um, not just a, a fan and stuff it was it was real real good experience for me. I think well one thing I learned to get under pressure it's it highlighted so much all you got to do is stick to the skills that you're good at I think I definitely went away from that and didn't do that I sort of got under pressure and I was trying to try and things that I don't try to practice um, just because I thought other things were going to go for six or something and it's just staying really calm I think. I didn't expect that I would at the start of the season be playing in front of 35,000 people screaming and shouting in a hundred final um, which yeah it was just a dream come true really I think it, although it didn't go too well um, I learned loads and loads and loads to hopefully help me in the blast next season for Worcester. Um, I do I do a lot of running, uh, do a lot of 2Ks, um, just to tick over, that's one of our fitness challenges, um, and spend a lot of time in the gym, so do do we have about uh, two gym sessions a day, um, and, and in the week, and then a, a bit of bowling and stuff like that, and it's a pretty nice lifestyle, but it keeps us fit, um, and hopefully this winter I can get into my cycling, I'm hoping that'll be on the plan. Yeah, I think it's um, it's so important. I think definitely um, using kit like I suppose Simitar, it's um, it, it's been real helpful this winter in terms of the running and stuff. I think kit is in, it is vital piece of equipment. You don't want it to be um, uncomfortable when you're doing it. So um, yeah, I think it's it's, it's it's vitally important when you're training and this stuff does uh, does a job in the running and stuff like that. So it's good. Extremely proud to be an ambassador for Simitar. Um, the clothing is awesome, um, extremely comfy um, and the fact that it's made by bottles is um, even better for the environment.